visually, animation wise, this stuff is freaking outstanding. Okay, now what? Look, I think I'm going to come at this totally differently with this whole Spider Man thing. Spider Man is my guy. He's always that. You see, my fanship of Batman was really the film. The comics I always read when I was young was Spider-Man. Those are the comics I've ever read. And because I was such a Spider-Man guy, I've never liked a Spider-Man film. I hate all the Raimi films. Andrew Garfield was great. His films were crap. But he was the best Spider-Man. And Civil War was a great introduction to Spider-Man. They... Um, Hall, Tom Holland's films have been the best, but I still haven't liked them. There's still not been a quintessential best Spider-Man film. I think the closest has been um, Homecoming. That's been the closest to the best kind of a Spider-Man film. But putting that to one side, man, because um, I remember when I watched Into the Spider-Verse, the, the, the first film, I was like, wait, wait, wait where the hell is Spider-Man? Why are there like five, six hundred different Spider-Man people? I then watched it again and I was like, I then appreciate just what an incredible animation achievement it is. And looking at this now, I think I'm ready to now come at this in the right way and in the kind of like right psychology because I have to take away my bias. I've got to just accept that this isn't what I think it is. So this isn't, hey man, um, Spider-Man doing his thing, Spider-Man up against Venom, up against Green Goblin, up against Shocker, Electro and so forth. No. This is a Spider-Verse with a different Spider-Man character. So I still have to just take away that my very traditionalist view of you know, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, Mary Jane is what they're about. And these are the, the dynamics. This is just something different. And because it's something different, I cannot sort of take a step back and just appreciate the technical achievements that they've actually put forth on the table, which is pretty damn amazing in terms of just it looks outstanding. It just it looks amazing from a creative point of view. It looks amazing, and I think look, I'm down, you know. And I do think that you know this is probably going to be, um, um, push the main character even much more to to the brink. And I've just the thing that I'm most interested about is I think is it the Spider Man for the future, like Spider Man Twenty One Ninety Nine, the character that Oscar Isaac is voicing. He just looks really cool. So I'm very interested to see like what they do with that and how they um, come in that from that angle. But I think what is most, well, the thing that's interests me the most is just the animation styles. And that is what I missed the first time around. The first time around, I was like, yo, man, where the hell is Spider-Man? What the hell is this freaking pig doing here? Watching it the second time, I was like, wow, this is some crazy animation. Look at all the different animation styles that they're actually doing. And I just think that you, like, you have to try not to come into a film with any bias. But you have to forgive me because it says Spider-Man. I want to see Spider-Man. One Spider-Man. So I wasn't prepared for several Spider-People coming through. So now I know this is what it's about. I can now take it on face value. I've even had that whole, like, you know, the Spider-Man meme where they point at each other. But look, it, it, it looks quality. And I think coming into this, I'm like, all right, what is your story? What do you want to tell? And I'm going to not take your story as is. And I'm going to critique you as is based on the story you're trying to tell. I'm not going to now sort of prejudge you by, well, why are there all these guys there? You should only be focused on one Spider-Man. That's how it should be. It's different. Now, in a perfect world, I would love this animation style with the Peter Parker Spider-Man up against like a Venom. Up against like the Sinister Six. Like that would be my freaking dream. Like, like Peter Parker, Spider-Man... A bit more adult, a bit more edgy, up against Venom. Or up, up against, like, Green Goblin or the Sinister Six and so forth with this animation style. That would be a freaking dream. But if that's not happening, it is what it is. We're stuck with that bummer, Sam Holland. But with this, it looks cool. It looks cool. It looks down. And I'm interested to see what they will do on a story level, but specifically on an animation visual level. Because visually, animation-wise, this stuff is freaking outstanding. So, yeah.